Good morning, my dear brilliant students. How are you all? I know you all are great. You all are diamond precious and working very hard for your studies. You know kids, learning is your superpower. Remember, never stop trying, never stop growing your brain. As we all know that you all are our future generation and you need to work really hard for everyone else around you. Students, lockdown is really hard nowadays, but not for studies, not for you and not for teachers. We all are connected with each other through this online classes. And we are very happy to see that you are watching our all YouTube videos and you are working very hard upon this. But don't you forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for latest videos. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for new notifications. Kids, you know nothing can cancel learning. And learning goes on. GMPS won't stop learning. Stay home, stay healthy. So kids, we are about to start recapitulation of chapter number 2, Reproduction in Animals. We'll be revising each and every topic related to this chapter. So let's get started. Our topics will be Animals Types of animals How do animals reproduce? Egg Life cycle of a hen Life cycle of a frog and Life cycle of a butterfly So we will revise all these topics in chapter 2 that is reproduction in animals it takes nothing away from a human to be kind to an animals animals are our best companion in this whole world and beautiful gift given to us by God animals are wonderful living creatures classified as kingdom animalia which includes insects mammals amphibians reptiles and so on Human beings are also referred as animals. We generally see two types of animals, wild animals and pet animals. Animals which can't be domesticated, they are known as wild animals, while on other side, animals which can be domesticated, they are known as pet animals. Wild animals are very disobedient and they are uncontrollable. They are wild, but on other hand, Pet animals, they are very loyal and adorable. For example, lion, wolf, shark, zebra, they all are wild animals. Cat, dog, cow, goat and sheep, they all are pet animals. We get varieties of food from animals such as eggs, meat, milk, butter, cheese, fish, and honey. Animals are of great importance to human beings. Animals also provides us honey, wax, silk, wool, leather and medicines. And you know kids, animals contribute to agriculture, transportation and for our safety purposes also. So we cannot imagine our life without animals. So students, let's talk about reproduction in animals. Uh, this is very important topic and we'll be revising it again. How do animals reproduce? So the process by which living organisms reproduce their young ones of their own kind is known as reproduction. And reproduction is a continuous process and we need to reproduce again and again to survive on this planet Earth. And reproduction will only take place in living organisms such as humans, plants or animals. Here we are having two different categories under reproduction. Animals, those who lay eggs and animals, those who give birth. Egg laying animals are also known as oviparous animals and animals, those who give birth to their young ones, they are known as mammals or we can also call them as viviparous animals. For example, birds like pigeons, parrots, insects like butterfly or cockroaches, reptiles 
like snake and lizard amphibians like frogs and salamanders they come under the category of egg laying animals and mammals they give birth to their young ones and feed them with their own milk for example humans cow tiger elephant okay students now let's revise parts of a hen's egg eggs are very delicious we must include an egg in our daily diet eggs are common food source and they are generally oval but differ in size shape and color eggs are mostly laid by female animals we are having different parts of an egg over here egg shell air cell thick and thin albumin and yolk the hard outer covering of an egg is known as egg shell but it can be easily broken white clear substance okay egg white is known as albumin and albumin is very high in protein the yellow portion inside an egg is known as yolk this is your yolk and yolk is very rich in vitamin and minerals yolk is healthy for every one of us now air cell air pocket at the top of an egg helps the yolk centered within the egg which reduces the risk of the egg spoiling when air enters inside an egg the air cell becomes larger the tiny pores in the shell allow the carbon dioxide to escape and fresh air to get in with the help of this small baby is able to respire okay now let's talk about life cycle of a hen life cycle is again very important topic in this chapter the stages through which an embryo develops into an adult is called a life cycle an embryo you know what is it an unborn baby as we all know eggs are generally laid by female animals so hen lay eggs then the growing baby or embryo of a hen develops inside the egg when fully developed they hatches out as a chick and the process is known as hatching the process of breaking down of an egg shell in order to allow a young one to come out is known as hatching so hatching is really very important embryo develops into chick when the egg is kept warm that is known as incubation when a parent hen will sit over an egg for few days to keep it warm that is known as incubation then only a chick will come out with the process known as hatching chick eats and grows into an adult which is very obvious we need to eat food for our further growing process then adult chicken lay eggs and the cycle continues again and again so this is all about life cycle of a hen i hope you all understood it well now let's study about life cycle of a frog as we know frogs are amphibians they can live on land and under water as well they are cold blooded they are not capable of managing their own body temperature female frogs lay their eggs in the water the adult female frog lay bunches of eggs called spawn and they gradually transforms into an embryo very slowly they transforms into an embryo after some time eggs hatches into tadpoles with gills and tails tadpoles have no lungs they respire through gills okay and they look more like a fish rather than a frog after few more weeks baby tadpole begins to look somewhat like a frog as it turns into a froglet and during this stage they develop four limbs and their lungs for breathing outside water and their tail also reduces the young frog grows and develops into an adult frog this process is very natural life cycle just goes on and on and here you can see baby is gradually developing into a 
new and an adult frog now let's revise again life cycle of a butterfly but before that i want to tell you something a change in the form or character of an animal during the life cycle is called metamorphosis both frog and butterfly they go under process metamorphosis and metamorphosis is very essential for some living creatures butterflies are very colorful they are very graceful so today we will revise about life cycle of a butterfly uh, basically there are four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly egg caterpillar pupa and an adult butterfly as we all know each stage has different purpose and uh, life cycle is also known as metamorphosis as i told you just now butterflies are insects and insects you know what they are a group of small winged animals female butterfly lay her eggs on leaves or stems of a plant eggs can be of various shapes and they are surrounded by a protective hard shell they are surrounded by a protective hard shell the eggs of a butterfly first develops into a caterpillar and we can also call it as larva so this is baby of a butterfly so egg hatches into larva with the process known as hatching this caterpillar spend all its time eating leaves and its own egg shell and it shed its skin four to five times to make a new one and egg shell is the food source of a baby caterpillar or you can call it larva caterpillar gradually removes its old skin and wraps itself in a covering called cocoon and this covering is made up of silky threads inside this cocoon the caterpillar changes into pupa or you can also call it as chrysalis when the time reaches adulthood the pupa changes into an adult butterfly and leaves the cocoon the adult butterfly later lay eggs and the cycle continues again and again so this was all about our chapter 2 reproduction in animals we studied each and every topic we covered each and every detail related to different topics and i really believe that you understood this chapter very well and in future you will be able to do this chapter by yourself for that you need to learn each and everything learn all difficult words learn question answers try to attempt question try to attempt back exercise yourself stay healthy stay safe at your home and i'll be back with my new chapter till then Keep on watching my YouTube videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon and study smart and study wise.